Hello, today we're going to be talking about how to use your log files on Mac in order to help you troubleshoot. This can also be useful for if you are trying to find information to post onto forums, for example, to let other people help you identify the problem. Log files are a great thing to post on there. It gives any person that's helping you troubleshoot more information about your computer and the issue that is occurring now I want to leave a note here real quick that the troubleshooting steps that I'll be going through in this video, even a beginner can do. I'm not going to be having you delete any files um, or move around any files. That is silly to do if you are not comfortable with a computer or you know what you're doing. But the steps that I'll show you, anyone can do to help you gain more information about what is causing the problem. A lot of times this method is very useful if your computer is crashing if apps are crashing, etc. It helps to identify what exactly is going on, what is the culprit, and it gives you a better idea of where to look. So this video is part of a troubleshooting series that I'm doing. This was the first video went over the troubleshooting flowchart that I generally follow. And uh, this section is part of using console and your log files. A brief explanation of how to do both of those. So First off, to look at your log files, it can be helpful to analyze your log files, um, especially specifically to look at the sizes. Sometimes the sizes grow too large. And so you can open up Finder, and these will be uh, hidden files by default. So you'll need to go up to Go at the top, and then go to Folder. I already have it typed in there, but you can do slash VAR slash LOG. And that'll take you to your log files. And a good thing to do is to look at the sizes of your log files. Sometimes when you're having problems with your computer, it is related to log files growing much too large in size. And so coming in here and looking at the size of your files, if for some reason it is not showing your sizes, when you get into here, make sure you are on list view right here. And you can also go to the gear, show view options, and select calculate all sizes. That needs to be selected as well. And then you can organize and sort by size. And so if there's anything in here that is over a gigabyte, that's kind of an indication that there's something wrong going on. A lot of times the culprits involve ASL, where it will have files, the uh, log files that are not being removed. These should be removed uh, about every week or so. Nothing o over a week or so should be in here. Um, but if you're getting a lot of files that are really old and this is getting big in size, that's an indication something's going on with your maintenance on your computer. Also, your system.log file is another culprit. So those are a couple things to look out for is size. But the most helpful tool on uh, in terms of looking at your logs is your is your console. So to do that, I just go to Spotlight, type in console, and you pull up this window right here. Now, so now console can be intimidating because there are a lot of words and numbers and it looks like a bunch of gibberish in here. But there is some useful information and especially if you are looking to post information onto a forum, for example, for help troubleshooting a problem, this is where you want to come. Uh, look over here on the left side, you can see your system.log files. Here is your user log files as well. You can see any specific user apps and stuff like that in there. So you go ahead and click on your system.log file and all of your entries will have the date and the time and the user. And uh, then it will give the culprit of who is sending out the request. So here's your address, my address book here is sending out some request. Here is an uh, identifier number. And then here's a quick message of what exactly is happening. Um, and so in here you kind of look for um, anything that relates to exiting abnormally, or if it says error or failed, or different things like that. That's kind of gonna be a red flag that something is going on with that application. Um, especially if you have an issue, a specific issue, you're getting the spinning wheel, your computer's freezing up, um, you can actually use this time marker to help identify what happened when the computer locked up. You can also, if you can reproduce the problem, insert a marker, 
and that will tag when you insert the marker then you recreate the issue and then you know you don't have to look but you don't have to look at any log file before this marker so you can just look anything below that that can be helpful if you can reproduce problems but probably the most useful part of console is coming over here to the user diagnostic reports these are your crash reports these are um records of when your computer has crashed and it gives a lot of very valuable information to help determine what exactly happened with the crash. So for example here Adobe Illustrator crashed on my computer last month and it gives some information, it gives an exception type, it gives information about your computer that a troubleshooter would need to know and then it will say you know the thread that it crashed on. And so all the following information would be, could be relevant in solving what exactly is happening. And so if you're posting in a forum, for example, you want to make sure you copy and paste all of this top identifier information um, that can help someone narrow down what is going on. And then it can also be helpful to post, to paste information under the thread that crashed. You will notice that this one goes down till right here, until thread one starts. So that's all I need to, to copy and paste into the forum. All the rest of this is not needed, um, especially binary images, leave those out. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, extra stuff in those that don't need to be posted into forums. So again, the top part and whatever thread crashed are good things to post into a forum when you're looking for help on how to troubleshoot issues. So that's a quick look at your log files and how to use console, specifically in order to get help troubleshooting your computer and identifying what may be causing your computer to crash or various other issues. Well, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.